we are going to have the first official trailer for The Flash. Not that little clip sizzle reel we got. We're going to have an actual trailer, something to dig our teeth into and dissect and really get more of what is this film about. It's releasing at the Super Bowl. We're getting a 30 second spot and a trailer that's 2 minutes and 25 seconds. So this is a big deal. There's a lot of money being put into this film. There's also a lot of uncertainty due to the star Ezra Miller. There's just all sorts of question marks. Again, this film could be one of the biggest films of 2023, or it could be one of the biggest bombs. There's no in-between there. It's going to be one or the other. So with a high budget and them spending close to $10 million on a Super Bowl spot, they obviously want all eyes on this film. The trailer will release right after it releases at the Super Bowl at 2 minutes and 25 seconds. This is the trailer. You're going to get story elements. You're going to get more reveals of Michael Keaton's Batman. You're probably going to see a trailer that largely centers on, let's try to hide a lot of Ezra and focus on more of the sizzle. That's what they got to do here. They got to sell it. And um, honestly, I'm interested to see how they're going to market this. What foot did they put forward first? Because that's the real big one. Uh, Ezra, there's still a lot of trouble there. Um, there's a lot of uncertainty. And I think them pushing this at the Super Bowl shows that they're confident enough to put millions of their budget in a 30-second spot, which means that they're gambling on this with pretty much everything. If this film, like, fails... It's going to be problematic. At least they got a reboot of the universe in the works to some degree, so we'll see what happens. But yeah, it'll be interesting to see uh, how this is handled and what the trailer does for views. Because that'll be indicative of uh, the, I guess, appeal of this film. If it starts breaking all sorts of view records, you got something good on your hands. If it starts sliding under the radar, it's going to be problematic by spending that much money and then having to offset that in the end with less marketing for the final film push. It's, it's a slippery slope they're playing.